Hello, this is Haka Devine, and I am here with r slash Tumblr again. Yes, we are tumbling again. My tongue is finally feeling better. It doesn't hurt anymore. Well, it still has a little bit of pain, but it's far better than it was before. Alright, today we are going to be exploring the wonderful world of r slash Tumblr. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. To kill a French vampire, you need to drive a baguette through its heart. Sounds easy, but the process is painstaking. Multilingual jokes are my favorite. I have stored this away forever. Painstaking. Dear all people, if you see a cop talking to any African American person, I know you better stop walking. You better stay right there till that cop gets back in their car and drives away. Let them know we are watching them and they are not alone. This is the least we can do. <sighs> there was an arrest across across the street from my place in Oakland one day, three cop cars with at the bullhorn and guns at, and before I could even get out the gate, there were a couple people posted up, and one of them was filming, and another one was narrating in a calm voice, but ve in a calm but very loud voice dress, he is cooperating. His hands are empty. He is doing what he, he is told to do. He is holding still. His hands are empty. He is not being threatening. He has put his hands behind his head as ass. He is not resisting. And that was something I hadn't thought to do before. It certainly let the cops know what the narrative of eyewitnesses was going to be. I especially like the his hands are empty because this statement would still be true and a witness reason and the reason should not have be, should not become violent even if it turned out he had a weapon on his person somewhere. I see people in New York City stop and record a lot, even if they are just being nosy. That's still witnesses if, it, if shit goes down. We must be vigilant. The new solidarity. You must. You might just save a fellow human being. If you don't feel comfortable with doing that, a narrative thing, which really is quite clever, even just saying Grand Blatantly Sari ing actually legit helps immensely. There are studies that show those that even an image of someone looking can be effective to change people's behaviors. Side note if you see a cop stopping an, an indigenous person, the same protocol applies. Side note on my end, if you see a cop stopping any person, stare them down. Always observe the cops. Let them know that they are not safe from your scrutiny. I did this in the parking lot when I saw a group of black men and teens being harassed by a cop. Stay in my car, but I whipped out my phone and started to record, pointing out via a narrative when I could hear the cop contradicting himself and changing his story. At the event mark, when I knew he was past the reasonable stop guideline time, thanks to the legal tip side of Tumblr, I flipped on my dumb light. Fam, what happened next was incredible. The cop had been gesturing in a wild way, almost fight early, like he was actually trying to get these guys agitated. He saw my dumb light, saw a white face ace, ace with the phone, and suddenly his hands came to rest on his vest. Within 90 seconds, he packed his, 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 it up and gone. The most outspoken gentleman in the group came up, up to me and went, What are you doing in there? So that's where I told him. It looked like you were being harassed, so I was recording. The whole group recognized someone who was on their side and started venting about out the shit that, that had just gone down. Does not the asshole had them stop for a good five minutes for a full end? That means they were stopped with no probable cause and a cop changing the story no fewer than three times for at least 13 minutes while chatting in a parking lot. One car pulled in next to another that turned out to belong to one of his buddies and they were just shooting the shit when Officer Bacon came by. Was the other kicker here? One of the cop stories was that a group matching their script and had been reported by the grocery store or security guy for shoplifting. Black men, red shirt with a sports logo, jeans. Know what this convenient 
The report didn't mention his height. This guy was with the ex without exaggeration, at least six foot ten. I assure you any report of him would have mentioned his height first. And you'd best believe I pointed that out in my narration. Cuffs will try shit. You can stop them. I did, and it was as simple as having some patience and a camera. Same for Muslims. Look out for your fellow or, or, or marginalized people. Honestly, this applies to everyone. It's a high priority for the aforementioned groups, but nobody is safe around the police. The police are the enemy. Remember this, cops are the enemy. That was a heavy second in post. <laughs> it's so strange to me when people tell me they never had an Egyptian face. Like, what did you even do during your high there your childhood. This is oddly specific, and over 3,000 people relate. The Egyptology book was too golden and shiny to resist. Drawn collectively, Crowbrain just says shiny and full of secrets. Gotta know. Remember, Tobins are the signs of a killer. Funnily enough, I'm not 100% joking. While many animals have paw pads, the particular kind of soft, squishy beans found on house cats are an adaptation for stealth. Squishy beans mean you're looking at an ambushed predator. These are the beans of a killer, Bella. When is it safe to leave the bog? Tuesday. Crap, I missed my window. Next week, I guess. We blog on Tuesday to let your followers know it's safe to leave the bog. Oh my goodness, we get to ooh, see the end. So, oh, 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 tweet. I literally love it just because uh, as, as this person right here, person saying the pants were in Benjamin Men, is an incel. And it's really funny because they're stupid, just like all incels. Anyway, pants were invented for men, not women. It's impossible for a woman to wear pants, jeans, yoga pants, dress pants, leggings, dungarees, etc. without sexualizing her body since they highlight her legs, curves, and rear end. Women who want to be modest should not own pants at all. What a fucking creep. Oh, sorry. I, I know I'm not supposed to really swear on my own, but too late, I guess. That's a lot of words for nobody will fuck me. That's a lot of words for I'm I'm a creep. Pants were invented for men, not according to my ancestors. Pants were invented for riding horses. People who didn't have have nomad horse culture all wore are dresses. Dress were an old Greek man considered pants to be the mark of barbarian uh, barbarism. Like the Isanthians and Samaritans. Also, the Isanthians and Samaritan and Samaritan tribes were known for equality between genders. Where women were renowned hunters and archers. They are where the Greeks got the idea for Amazons. So sorry, bro. Pants are totally for women. You just as mad at, at it's for writing something that's not you. Okay, but like based on gentle structure, it would actually make sense for cis men to wear skirts and cis women pants. What are we even talking about? Out logic. The Scotch did it right. The Scotch did it to hide more knives. The Scotch did it right. <laughs> that is a good reason. That's like the best reason I've ever seen. We did a queer feminist retelling of Breaking Bad. What the fuck happens in Worm? Hang on, hang on. When MFs be begging to catch some hands, it's gonna. Mm hmm. I see.
<sighs> the house is safe after hands before a fight. Useful reference? Let's go beat someone up, but no seriously, does this prevent pain or something? Why? What do these bandages actually serve? It gives your bones a line to prevent injury, compress the soft tissue to make the physical rigid, and pads and knuckles. Skull bones are sturdier than hand bones. And even if you know what you're doing, there's high risk of damaging your metacarpals if you punch someone barehanded. That's why I recommend, and if you find yourself in a fight for a pair, to bunt their nose with the butt of your palm. Because if the other person tucks their head, and you end up hitting their forehead instead, they'll do a lot less damage to your palm than your knuckles. Tumblr, teaching you how to fuck someone's shit up. Damn, Tumblr is just not uh, uh, lighting up. I get uh, as we're getting demonetized. Oh, wait. I don't like to monetize to begin with. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Medieval Beekeeper Guard, but... Guard, but... <laughs> it's the best. This is cursed. I hope it's made up. Nope. Woodcut from 1545. Respect our basket faced cousins. The beekeepers. Peter of Rugal the Elder. 1568. Better flag doctors are cultural icons. I want these to be next, and I hope for you arbitrarily decide that the two are somehow rivals. Why would they be rivals? They're dating and bop their masks together to kiss. The birds and the bees. Uh. Oh, they're dating. Oh my goodness, that is way too cute. The birds and the bees. I kind of want to dress as a play doctor, but like, I don't want people to think I'm a dude. There are kind of rival spell mechanics on a once away to cast or just zaps you with a, with a ball of non specific magic entry. In like a fantasy defibrillator. Get microwave, boy. That's the body. End battle. The party healer. Hey, wake up! <laughs> We must let go of the myth that intimacy is going to be easy. We must stop romanticizing ease. We can do hard things. That's good advice, but also, why this picture? It's hard for two heroes to be intimate when there's an erupting volcano nearby. What's not clicking? In the movie American Psycho, Christian Bell based the main character on a Lightman interview featuring Tr Tom Cruise in 1999. When asked about inspiration behind and Patrick Bateman, he said, uh, he replied, Tom Cruise and David Lerman had this very intense friendliness with nothing behind the eyes. Every day of my life, I think about this fact. Every single day. <sighs> Sex scene. The audience is uncomfortable and learns nothing. Sex scene. The audience is impressed. And learns love for or sa for the saxophone. Is the Blue Spirit still an enemy of the Fire Nation? Because I bet that would be hilarious. Like in an official meet with Fire Lords, so bring up the fact that they still haven't caught the elusive Blue Sp Blue Spirit, and Zico's just as there, awkward as ever. Like, yes, what a shame. Wherever could they be? <laughs> These freaking ads go crazy. I was arrested for writing a fanfic about the prince. I haven't got the uh, faintest clue what this is about, but I can't stop laughing at the prince's face. He looks so haunted. Girl, what in the fresh hell did you write? It was bad enough that the boy is literally just stabbing the book with a dagger and dissociating. I picked this comic up by coincidence a few months ago and I am so delighted to inform anyone curious that she wrote out him a torrid and a torrid love affair with his bodyguard who completely undermined his terrifying reputation and made him a folk hero instead. He was not thrilled. 
Yeah, I think it goes more messed up than that. He is so, so traumatized. Look at those eyes. He is so upset. All fictional creatures' behaviors should be modeled after cats. Dragons, scaly cats. Demons, infernal cats. Elves, talking cats. The elf party member knocks your water off the table and calls you a bitch when you don't be at 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay, I don't think elves should be in this, but dragons and demons, I can see it. Elves are a bit too humanoid. They're too human. When she says she doesn't send news. What the fuck? When guys object five women and expect them to send news. What the fuck? This I am all about. When someone asks you about your nuclear plans for Russia. What the fuck? <laughs> oi, oi, don't do that. I did not ask for that. Gosh darn it. Now we got a scroll again. When Russia said to news, what the heck? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Stop. Let's ship F those two. First of all, Obama was actually a decent person, so don't ship him with Putin. Hmm. Uh. Ha. Huh. I can't wink. I mean, I did in reality, but... What the fuck happened here? This is my favorite post of all of Tumblr. Remember, this post is now illegal in Russia. Reblog it, because Russia can't! Thanks, Obama. What the fuck? But Russia makes this post illegal? <laughs> what the hell? I have all these students and screenshots. I already blog this every goddamn time I find on my I dash. OMG, World Heritage Post. Ah, yes, the original version. So I find iconic posts. It's satisfaction knowing that I can't reblog this, but Rush. Knowing that I can reblog this, but Russia can't. It's satisfaction. The satisfaction. Knowing that I can reblog this, but Russia can't. Uh, sometimes you can and pronounce Russia with three syllables, so that's barely there. <sighs> the trope where a character overhears something out of context and assumes the worst is usually annoying and bad, but I think it works well in Shrek. We, the audience, none of Fiona is talking about herself, or regardless, she's calling herself these terrible things because she is an ogre. If Fiona is these things because she is an ogre, why does that make Shrek? If Fiona says no one could love her because she is an ogre, she is saying that Shrek is also unlovable, whether he wants, whether she wants to or not. In my opinion, the scene is a really good portrayal of how uh, when you talk poorly of yourself or others for having a trait, you're also talking about every other person who shares that trait. Either if you love them or think what you're, what you're saying doesn't apply to them. Not gonna lie, I saw the word Shrek and never expected this to be a deep post.
on the Dig Deep About Shrek website. I mean, yeah, this, this website is deep about Shrek in multiple ways. That I hope made you cringe as much as it made me cringe. Because I am dying over here. <sighs> I just found a late it's antique version of Live, Laugh, Love, and I wish I were kidding. Health, life, joy, peace, good cheer, hope. Mosaic, 4th century, Roman, and Anatolia. Yeah, I can't read that. So I'm not even going to try. It's not even the same. A alpha that I know. So I learned that tomatoes possess the genes to reproduce... It's capsinoids, but they're not expressed. Recently, researchers discovered a technique to turn on the translation of the streams, and, and they grew spicy tomatoes. The tomatoes chose nonviolence, but those researchers just had to push them. Well, they want spicy, so... These gummy macaroni noodles taste like raw elbow pasta. So guys, guess what? <laughs> oh my goodness. It was the best of shires. It was the worst of shire. Mm. Nice ship. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Does everyone understand what that dog is saying? Boy, this stuff writes itself. This is a serious form of flattery. A hundred times over. You don't see cartoon violence like that anymore. You don't have to shave your cub. At the five o'clock shadow, I'm really a kid, just like you. I don't understand. If the cars are moving by feet, shouldn't we just keep running? Today's episode has been brought to you by the letter V. I know it's old, but can we give this episode a, a little Oscar? I can't believe you didn't include the DBZ a parody at the finale. I actually had that one on my computer, but I didn't get it in. Thanks, man. This one was important. Oh my goodness. What about genetically altered adolescent in karate in cows? Okay, that was good. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point. That was our assembler. We're going to be doing a lot more red stuff again. Because I just saved recipes for when I really want to just do a really quick video and then just poof, disappear, go straight into taking my meds and not do anything fun. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be seeing you in another video tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!